we're gonna whoop. There we go. Welcome back to the Trickster Garage YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to use this one thing for your transmission that will help clean it, restore it, hopefully make it last longer, give it more life, and that's gonna be Seafoam Transtune. My car's got almost 200,000 miles. It's a 2007 Nissan Altima 2.5 liter with a CVT transmission. I want to go ahead and try out this Seafoam Transtune because I'm thinking it might help clean my transmission out from the inside out. You add one pint and have to drive it at least 100 miles to circulate and clean before replacing the fluid. All right, so we let the car warm up a bit. Now to take off the dipstick, if you're not sure how to take the dipstick off, I actually have a video of the card at the top of the screen that you can watch to actually show you how to take the dipstick off. You know, all you need is a little flathead screwdriver. And you're going to push it down there. And you're going to hug this metal bracket. You're going to slide it and push it right up next to there. And then you're going to pry back, which will release the tab from it, which will allow you to pull it out. Oh, 16 ounces. Alright guys, so we're driving now. I reset my uh, trip meter to zero and we're going down the road now. I'm just going to drive around, probably visit some uh, some people and go shopping or whatever. Just not really shopping, but I'm, I'm just going to drive around and try to get 100 miles as quickly as I can. All right, we're back uh, from our long drive. Uh, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and start draining the fluid. First thing I'm gonna do is gonna spray everything down some WD-40 if I have any. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right. So you want to grab your 19 millimeter socket and put it on the drain plug, and we're gonna loosen it up and get ready to go. Here comes that fluid. And we're gonna whoop. There we go. drain make sure you slide your, your uh, drain pan because this thing likes to drip off to the side and splash and make all kinds of messes but I'll tell you what it beats dropping the pan all right so I think this is as good as it's gonna drain at this point I got a little magnet here I'm gonna go inside my drain pan and hopefully fish out the drain plug I have no idea. Oh, I think I picked it up. There we go. When you pull the drain plug out, you want to make sure you still got this copper washer here. You want to make sure that's still with the ball. If not, you need to go find it in your in your drain pan because that, that's important in sealing it back up. Alright, so once you get your uh, drain plug and your copper washer all scrubbed and cleaned up, you go ahead and screw it back in there. And just be careful not to burn yourself because everything's still pretty hot okay we're gonna go ahead and that gets tightened down to 25 foot pounds okay all right so once we get tightened down we want to spray it off the brake clean and just wipe everything down and the reason why you, you want to do this is because it would make it easier to identify any leaks that happen to come. So the transmission fluid that I'm using is Castrol Transmax CVT. You can buy this pretty much any auto parts store, even Walmart, uh, Amazon, 
um, they sell it as well. It's good fluid, it works, it's fully synthetic, uh, enables smoother shift, longer life, all that good stuff, and special smooth drive technology, whatever that means. Anyway, we're gonna put six quarts in, and then we're gonna head and uh, measure the fluid level, make sure it's good, and keep going from there. Alright, at this point I'm going to go ahead and add in the Seafoam Transtune. I'm going to be using it as a, basically an additive or a, a conditioner um, that will stay with the, the life of the fluid. So, go ahead and take this off. Pop that off. And pour it right in. So basically I poured uh, three quarts of the regular transmission fluid and then now I'm putting the trans tune in and I'm going to put another three quarts of the transmission fluid in as well. Alright, pick up and do the last three. Put the dipstick back in. Push in until you hear it pop. All right, so at this point, we're finished putting fluid in. We start the car, we're letting it idle. Um, we gotta get it back up to operating temperature. Um, I put my cardboard sheet, I flipped it over. This is from earlier, don't worry about that. But I flipped it over and I put it right underneath the, uh, the transmission. So if there's any leaking or dripping, it will show up on that piece of cardboard to kind of give me a clue that, hey, something's, something's still not buttoned down all the way. Okay, so just a trick for you. So while we're, um, doing that or waiting for the everything to warm back up you want to shift your your shifter you want to push your brake pedal like normal and you just kind of want to go through each gear hold it for maybe like two or three seconds shift again neutral drive and yeah, make sure you have your your foot down on the brake you can kind of come over here not that it really matters <clears throat> and come back up the park. Wipe this off. Stick it back in. Hold it in there for three seconds. Pull it out. And I think you can see here. Uh, Right there, you can see we're in the cross hatched area. So we're good to go. All right, let's put this back in. And then you just push it until it pops. And now you're then secure. All right, last thing you wanna do, I'm gonna pull my cardboard out. See if there's any fresh puddles. That's old. I don't see nothing, no new drips or anything. So, that means we're good to go. If you check yours and it's a little bit low, I mean, add probably like a half quart at a time and then just go back and check again and so on until it looks like it's in the right cross hatched area. Anyway, that's it for this video. Um, if you like our work, go ahead, hit the like, subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff. And we'll have more Trick Shift Garage content for you in the future. See you on the next one. Yes. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, come on. Little guy. This guy's name is Morris. He's the uh, he's the neighborhood cat. Yeah, I know. I'm checking you out. You're gonna be YouTube famous now. <laughs>